On November 17, 2005, the U.S. Navy and the Missile Defense Agency completed their sixth successful intercept of a ballistic missile target from the sea, further validating the deployed Aegis ballistic missile defense engagement capability. Flight Mission 8 was the first test of the Aegis BMD weapon system and standard missile 3, SM-3, against a medium-range ballistic missile target which incorporates a separating mock warhead. The target was launched from the Pacific Missile Range facility on the island of Kauai. The target flew a nominal trajectory and roughly halfway through the flight the mock warhead separated from the booster. A U.S. Navy Aegis cruiser was positioned over 250 nautical miles off the coast. The ship's crew was not informed of the exact target location or launch time. Based on pre-exercise intelligence the ship's crew programmed the SPY-1 radar to perform a sector search optimized for the BMD mission. As the target rose above the horizon, the SPY-1 radar acquired the target and placed it in track. The Aegis BMD weapon system developed the fire control solution, and the ship's crew readied the ship for missile launch. Approximately three minutes after target launch, the ship's crew fired the SM-3. The missile completed booster burn and separation followed by second stage rocket motor burn and separation. An airborne camera tracked the missile throughout most of its flight. During this stage of flight, the Aegis BMD weapon system uplinked guidance commands to the SM-3. After second stage separation, the third stage rocket motor ignited, propelling the SM-3 up out of the atmosphere and into space. Velocity, direction and control were provided by thrust vector control and an attitude control system. Immediately after the first pulse of the third stage, the second pulse fired. This was the first implementation of a consecutive dual pulse engagement scenario. Throughout the third stage flyout, the Aegis BMD weapon system provided target complex updates to the SM-3. Following the second pulse of the TISRIM, the missile pitched over, ejected the nose cone exposing the SM-3 kinetic warhead, and pitched back toward the target vehicle. Roughly 30 seconds prior to intercept, final target complex updates based on the Aegis BMD weapon system uplink data were provided to the kinetic warhead, and it was ejected from the third stage. After separation, the solid divert and attitude control system was initiated. The KW acquired the target in its field of view, began tracking and divert maneuvers. The kinetic warhead performed a slight coning maneuver to maintain target track. In the final seconds, the coning maneuver stopped, and the target image grew in the field of view. Mark India, a direct hit. This test demonstrated the system's ability to acquire, track, and intercept a separating ballistic missile warhead. Numerous ground, sea, and air base platforms observed the intercept. The energy from the impact is calculated to be in excess of 125 megajoules, the equivalent of a 10-ton truck traveling over 600 miles per hour hitting a wall. This was a sixth successful intercept for the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Flight Test Program, further validating the deployed Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Engagement capability. The TPS-X radar, a prototype of the forward-based X-band radar, also observed the target complex and intercept from the island of Kauai. This is the first step to implementing launch on remote capability for Aegis PMD, further increasing its battle space and reach. In addition to live fire testing, the data from this test and others is collected by the end-to-end -end distributed data system, ETEDS, a high-fidelity distributed end-to-end -end simulation capability located at Lockheed Martin in Moorestown, New Jersey, and at Raytheon in Tucson, Arizona. Using simulated and live target data, and computer and hardware in the loop models of Aegis and SM3, the ETED system verifies Aegis BMD weapon system operation for each test event, as well as a variety of operational scenarios not possible or affordable in live test events. This was the second test to use the operationally ready Aegis BMD weapon system and SM3 Block 1 missile. The engagement was performed under strict operational testing conditions. Additionally, the test validated the ability to intercept a separating medium-range ballistic missile target. It was also the first to implement a consecutive dual pulse engagement sequence. 
The U.S. Navy and Missile Defense Agency are continuing to improve and deploy this Aegis BMD capability with the delivery of additional Aegis BMD cruisers and destroyers and SM-3 Block 1 missiles. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Track number 131. All stations, Lake Erie. Fireball, fireball, fireball. All stations, Lake Erie. Fireball, fireball, fireball. All stations, Lake Erie. Genesis, a track number 131312. Yeah. Eagle away. On the flight. Five minutes. And all stations, Eagle. Track number 131314. Over. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense. We deliver.